Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriv. Man, I need sunglasses looking at this. I got snow blindness. Yeah. Um, apparently in the winter is when the hay is collected the most. There is hay walking in all down this length. Interesting. So in storage is 800 more than 4,900 there. Okay, so that is rolling in. Is that happening at the other ones too? Is that just what we do in the winter? Over here... No one's roaming around, though the racks are mostly empty. Yeah, they're, they've been cleaned out. Okay, how about the racks over here? Just discovering new things. You are doing construction work. Where are you going? Show path. Blue. You're... Oh. I did put some clay up there long ago. Interesting. So we have clay here. We have clay over here. Uh, no, we don't. We have clay over here. That's right. And then we still have some clay up over here. So there, there, and there. That's where the clay is sitting at the moment. Mm-hmm. And this is only here because we were thinking about building that big neighborhood out here at one time. So I did that preemptively. So we're all going here for the clay. Oh, because we're building houses over here now. Probably this guy or something. You are... Ah, we're building the sheep farm. Okay, good. Well, let's get the sheep farm in hopefully before the beginning of the of the next growing season. If I can get it in during the winter, then I think it doesn't upset the uh, natural cycles of the farms. All right, so I was not going to start the episode yet. I was going to sit here and do a whole bunch of decorating, get a bunch of stuff laid out, trees planted, and then turn it on, but it's winter. It's kind of hard to decorate in the winter. You can't even see the color of the leaves, or can you? If I wanted to put in a lilac, no, it shows you a scraggly old barren bush. Nah, that's no fun. So, turn the speed up and let's just get through the, uh, get through the, the cold winter season. Broken hand, find a home. You, I think you'll be okay. When they get down to around 20, 25 gold coins, I usually give them a hand. Get them up to about 40. But hasn't been needed that often. It's hard to even put uh, stone roads in right now, by the way it randomly puts snow on things. Hmm. So where else seems right? I mean, it does seem like there should be stone through here somehow. I just don't know where to end it. I guess it ends here, because trying to piecemeal a bunch of little rectangles and triangles all through here feels like a nightmare. But, yeah, you would, it would be, if it was easier to place it, it would be smart to go all the way to this bridge. Through here, and then probably down this run here. And, of course, we could put that in. See if I can get everybody nauseous. But, where do you end it? Does it just go to here and quit? Or do we start making the, the curve? And then the, the crazy curve just to get out here to this one. Hmm. I don't know. Got to think that through. and I don't want to try and do any of that in the uh, in the snow. Um, it was brought up that we should probably connect this system, this uh, new row house area, which has four main entrances here too, and all these other entrances with, with cobblestone, though it would be nice to also force some grass back into here. So, I guess we could cobblestone a perimeter around. Could do something like that with, you know, in other words, cobblestone, where is it, this one? From here to here. And leaving an area over here for grass. And then I guess fence it. So, fence it so that it goes diagonal down and over to an entrance and stop. They can come out of the doors, go to the 
bench and then go back to the doors or leave, but not run the pathway, taking all the grass out. But even then, it's so much easier when it's not white on the ground. So, how are we doing here? You guys are up and running. We've got half of our part of our floor buried in the snow over here. Yeah, all the way into there. Amazed this thing even took. Um, all the materials are here. Just laying it all out. Got a bunch of workers going to do just that. Um, what is happening here? I'm hearing a lot of carts coming through. So, Dirkachi has been around and there's just coal left. So, 40 some hundred more charcoal still going out. And that's what's rolling in here. And, yep, you got your thousand. So, there'll still be a few more carts making the path in. All right, so into January. Uh, we didn't look at wagons, wagon sheds last time. You just got rebuilt for something. You? Yeah, just got a bunch of new horseshoes. Okay. And you seem to be doing fine, though this is only the the condition of the cart. you got to click on the cart itself to see the condition of the horse. So just about out of horseshoes over here too. So how are we doing on those kind of supplies? We set up well. <clears throat> Could use a few more over here. Got enough for one horse. Got enough for one and a half horses of horseshoes. Over here, uh, three horses worth over here. And age-wise, eh, I can't really do that easily. I've got to pause and click and... 10. So I'll wait until one actually goes down to order more horses. Otherwise, we could have horses going to 22 years old, like that last uh, that last Saltworks horse. Dirkachi is still coming in. Non-stop. Deal. Just doing charcoal with you now. Okay. Good, what? You don't actually sell anything we need, right? Don't. Well, leather? No, we're... Oh, town storage of leather is gone. Okay. Well, it's not gone. It's just not in storage. There's plenty in each of these shoe makers. But let's bring 2,500 in. All right, we'll do that. Metal parts, iron, iron, blah, 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 blah. Nope. Okay. Don't need any of that. And I think we're fine here. Apples don't even have enough for ourselves right now. So it's taking closer to 3,000 apples a year to get us through. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, December, you would have had a full crew. And now that we're January, one guy's left making firewood. Firewood is being called pretty heavily, though. Well, because we're using that we're selling the charcoal. So it's leaving the system and others are filling it up. We're filling these. Yeah, there it is. 3,400 on its way in there. Look at all the uh, laborers helping out. Okay. Um, carts are mostly used there. The full cart shed there and there. Sheep farm's done. Okay. Let's get over here and think about sheep. You need a person. You need the... Everything moved over. We've got extra people now without jobs. So I went ahead and upped all of the sheep and cow farms to four people. So we can collect more milk and do other things as well. So you... Yeah, so basically four on all the time. Um, what am I doing here? These right here. Labor by cart in hand. Now we have four people. They can do all their own work. So apply to all. And then... I suppose go ahead and fire up the other one too. Apply. Let's get everyone in here. Get it filled, get all the supplies in, and get some sheep moved over. And then they can use fallow fields. And they'll either use a second fallow field over here, or hopefully they'll make the trip all the way out there. If they won't, or you know, if there's a distance issue, then hopefully it gives me a, a heads up so that I know. But we'll see if we can track down two uh, fields worth of, of uh, sheep this time. And hopefully, it's over there. I guess I can find out. Are you... Yeah, you're Potato. So only one of these guys are going to be fallow right there. So that means the next fallow field is... Okay, we got cows going over there. So the next one is going to be right there. And then there'll be one somewhere in this mess. Right there. So there, there, 
and then one in here and one in here. So that's four, and we have four sheds worth, so that works out. You have supplies on the way. As soon as those show up, we will start transferring. And transfer who? Look at all the rams. Yeah, let's... Yeah, we're on slow speed. Let's slow it down. And you're there? You're there. Okay. So let's move two rams into here. And you're set to 30 already. Nothing else to change. Okay. So two rams over there. Two sheeps over there. And like that. Um... How are we doing here? We have nothing going. We need four. Let's set up... Oh, that's right. We're waiting. We'll, we'll save four rams for slaughtering over here. But we're waiting for the shearing to happen. Okay. So in that case, let's... Wow, there's almost no sheep. They're all rams. All right. Let's do a couple more sheep over there. Uh... Yeah, let's let's go to the bottom. And a four month and a seven month. Okay. So that gives us well they're not showing yet, but should have I was either six or eight going into there. And then as soon as we get into March, I'll send four rams to the slaughterhouse and Hopefully there'll be plenty of ewes to take their place and start getting more milk coming in eventually. Alright, um, tanning over here. We are 100 of 3 and no others are planned. You are working and working by not working. Okay, any more bowls to get moved through the system. Let's do you and you. Okay, that's fine. That gets you going. Any more bowls needed soon? I'm trying to think. We've got our salt works done. Um, these are all horses. So, nothing more that's obvious. Okay. Running at sec at two speed. We're in second gear. Um, sell another thousand. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, nah, you're fine. We'll let that go for a while before we get into the nitty-gritty of going through all the categories. Alright, so just turning into February. What does that mean? It means the boat builder shows up. Is that needed? Yeah, we could tell him to get to work on this one. Uh, Marefa, I haven't seen them in a while. Force repair you. He will start early. Like the last week or two of February, as soon as the water starts to thaw. Doesn't have to wait till March 1st. Um, yeah, Marifa, let's let's see what you are, are doing. We've been dealing with uh, Dirkachi all this time. You want to sell us wheat? Wow, we've run through it. Okay, let's do something crazy like 5,000 wheat. Bring it in. Hemp, we're fine. Honey, we should be 15. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, that's... No, we're 18. We're right there. Okay. Can buy? Yeah, we're right there. Uh, broadcloth, textile. Broadcloth? Eh, I think we're okay there. Warm clothes. How are we doing there? We're in the thousand range. Okay. Lime, 6,000. Sunflower. We're just about out. I think we've got a couple of... Yeah, we've got two fields growing now of, at all time. So that should be fine. Sunflower oil, we've got a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get 3,000 sunflower oil leaving. Right there. And all the way down here. 3,000. <clears> and it's already on its way. Leather's sitting here ready to go out. Oh. Okay, so it's... I guess it doesn't count as storage when it's sitting over here. Okay. Yeah. Didn't we... Yeah, we bought that from Dirkachi, right? Dirkachi. Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, well. It's not like it'll go to waste. Um, but we did that one. Buckwheat, flour, sallow. Yeah, I think we're fine on all that stuff. Okay. Horseshoes. How are you in the system? 
You're down there somewhere. 64. So we do have them. Just a matter of getting them down here. Did you guys ever go to pick them up? You did. 18 now. What's sitting in here? We have four in here. Let's up that to eight in case we we're buying two horses at a time. So horseshoes. It is eight. She's just stuck at four. Okay. Well, I guess that will get fixed when there's a need. <laughs> okay. You guys there. Kind of just stalling right now. Guess I just need to roam around and watch people. Kind of lurk. See what everyone's up to. House just got done. A uh, bunch of folks on the bridge. How are these houses up here doing? Are we mostly done? I think we're done. I think every lot is filled now. Okay. And these are done. Yeah, so delete you. Delete you. And the church is over there. It's ready to build. Okay. I think I want to back that up a little bit. Let's slow down. If there's a pathway right out of that door... Let's give us a little bit more room here for a pathway. So let's delete you, grab another one, same angle, and back you up just a little bit. How far can I go before it looks strange? Hmm. I guess the, the other placement allowed for a tree to be behind it. Let's go ahead and pull the trees out. So that's somewhere right in there. And if I kick it over a little bit, one way or the other, I can leave some room around. Yeah. There? Let's go in this way. Hmm. Might be easier just to designate the trees. Yeah, so let's set you there. That way it's it's still aligned the way I wanted to. It's kind of a natural crossroad here. So I think that works well. So you're there. You're still in the same place. Two more trees to come out. And, hmm, I guess I could just manually set those to come out. Let's, let's bell post those. And, oops, because of the position on the chart, I don't even have to move them now. So you, uh, I want this. There we go. So hold the shift this time. There, 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 oops. Okay, that failed. Missed the... There, that's what I was trying to do. So I gotta pull that one out. You can stay. There we go. So you two need to go... Oops. Gotta be more careful with that. Okay, I'll have to go do that one manually. I think I'll leave you. And... Let's take you out, though. And then pathway in. I think that works for now. Okay. Now let's find the one that I put in accidentally. Is that you? No. Oh, I can't see through these trees. There's a bell post in there somewhere. Is that you? There you are. Okay. Pause. Nope, you're gone. Okay, give me another one. Set you right there. Okay. That should take all those trees out. And once they take these two, they should just continue right on down the line. Yeah. All right. Speed jump again. Let's get to harvest season. New family settling into our town. We're at 564 residents. Don't know if we're going to hit that 600 mark or not with what's happening here. Have to have a few more babies. Um, speaking of occupants, how we doing? Still have our... 5, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Still have 11 starting to thaw. So that means the river has thawed. Which means you are working. There you go. No, you're taking a rest. Well, that didn't work out too well. I thought you would have jumped out there and grabbed one. So in that case, let's just take February off. It didn't work. I have seen them do it before, but 
He's not going to come back till well after March happens, so may as well just deal with a whole new crew. You are a new crew, and you're at 17, bringing in one more to 18, and about to turn off and, and lose your crew again. So that timed out really well. There's number 18, and you're going to get the other half of that one. That makes 19. Okay. And we're going to switch over to March. You're going to go home. Making more firewood, and that's perfect. Now, you're about ready to hire. Can't fish in winter, so according to the fishing dock, it's still officially winter. There he goes. Yep, the magic timer went off. Who's overloaded up here? That is a warehouse with too much what? Oh, I don't know. So these numbers don't add up right. Yeah, there's a whole bunch extra in there. Why did we do that? We needed to get rid of something. I guess get rid of wood? Let's take you down to 30. And take you down to 4. So there's 7, 8, 9, 10. That should even out eventually. The excess should go away. Okay. Um, otherwise... Getting ready to harvest. Actually, this is the only one, right? This one with no plow. And what did you do? You've got a full complement there. You are no plow right here. Right there. And there's a whole bunch heading into there. I think we'd finished our plowing over here, so another crew is available now. Over here, we don't have any of the plowing done yet, so nobody's hired. Okay. Um, sheep are sheeping that's all done these guys that's done and where did they ever end up i'm assuming they're going to end up right there oh there's a big old line going to it so that must be it slow down and let's find the sheep parade where are you guys at there they are yep hauling them through town broken a leg Funny which one they choose. They know to stay to the right. Um, you have got plenty of funds to get through an emergency. Good to see. Okay. So we saw our sheep parade. And it is now a better situation to decorate. Is there anything else going on? I was needing to get rid of four of these guys. That's right. So, right there. Nothing else came in, so you're fine. And we're ready for a whole run here. So, let's get rid of one, two, three, four. I would do eight, but that's going to put a glut of mutton on the market all at once. So, that probably wouldn't be wise. But I would imagine we're competing with pigs. Last time we looked, there were 29 out of 20. We're at 20 out of 20, so we have caught up. Okay. Foods are fine. Water's fine. Birds, same thing. Good foods, good waters. And not too much supply built up. It's being hauled away. Okay, that's, that's all good. And anything else to check up on? You're running low on water, but that's normal. And you are full of something. 25,000 firewood. Wow. We turned these off. They did empty. Okay. So we're relying now on this group over here. And this group over here. We have 4,200 wood. 5,600. So there's one and a half. Two and a half bins or uh, piles worth of firewood sitting out here. Okay, so we're fine there. Firewood in there. Charcoal in the system. 51,000 firewood in the system. Where are you? 118,000. You are Bavinkove. And what do you want to sell to us? A bell post is done. So sheepskins... We're low again. Do another thousand. Do another two thousand. We have storage space for it. Deal. And potatoes going out. April, May, June, July, August. 
Let's... Let's do 1,000. That leaves us 1,800 to get through there. That should still be more than enough. Parvenkave is right here. So 1,000 potatoes. Right there. Just kind of thinking right now. It feels like I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over each episode. That's why I'm, I'm wrapping the series up. We've built all the buildings. To go back and then build all the buildings all over again in another place kind of loses its magic. We've seen the sheep farm. We've seen the pigs. We've seen the, the tannery. We've seen the smeltery. All of that. So it's after a while, the game kind of loses its magic. I used to play Banished a lot. By the third series, I was so burnt out doing the same thing over and over again that, you know, the addition of mods didn't help. It was time to get into a first-person something and go play some Skyrim or something, you know, something different. So I'm kind of getting to that point here. So I'm guessing next episode is probably a wrap on this series. These will be in this time. Maybe in between I'll do a bunch more decorating and we'll see how, uh, how things come out and... Then I'm off on a trip somewhere, and when I come back, we'll look at doing something different. I think that's the way to go. So that brings us to episode 79. Probably didn't quite make it to 80. 80 might be the next update, whatever that is, that comes out. I don't know, there's a update uh, uh, 5.6 that's going to be coming out one of these days. Um, what am I doing now? We've got bell posts to go clean up. And probably before the church is built would be the best time to find them. Though I've got to say, I don't see a single one of them. They'd be over here. You're gone. You're gone. And over here? There's at least one more in there. There you are. Yeah, they blend in really well. I do. Okay, you're coming out. And the bell post is about to pop right over here. You guys are taking that one down. Boom. And here, they got three... Half trees laying out here. Interesting. I would have thought they would have picked those up before going to the next one. That's odd. Now, there are potentially two teams of two in each one. It's April, though. I don't think there are any fives running. I don't I haven't gone for March. No, I just haven't gone for March. April, they're back. Okay. And I don't know who's closer. These guys are fairly close, but these guys aren't that far away either. Another bell post just happened, and that's just a matter of picking up the, the second half of the log. And that should be the end. Uh, what was that? That was a... That was... A, oh, no? I don't know what that was. It was just a pile of lumber or something. Interesting. So we're waiting on that guy. Um, another house going in. That's about to complete our our kind of a cul-de-sac area. Almost a cul-de-sac. Last a few pieces, and there it goes. And that was a broken hand, and a penutine, and home, 68, messenger from house, you married and moved in. That was a lot of messages all at once. And that's you, so I need to go here. Do you have anything that's specific to us? Town storage of mead is gone. All right, 5,000 more, and thank you. Where are we at now? Still in that 29,000 range. Glass is still in the 17s, and all this is fine. Where are we on salt now? We're on 6,700, okay. We uh, could probably start selling it again soon. Clothes are fine. Warm clothes are even a little better. Broadcloth sallow in that thousand range. Onions. We have onions to get rid of from last season. We're at the six month mark. So let's do a thousand. I think 1100 will hold us. We're probably 2000 a year for something like that. So deal. And let's get over to that trader. You are there. Onions. And that was another another bell post? Okay. I thought we had already seen all the little pictures go away. Um, onions, 1,000. 
and temporary you. And anything else from you? Carrots, we should be out. Apples, we're out. So we got to start saving 3,000 apples a year now. Lime and beer. Beer, we're doing great. Let's do 2,000 of you. And deal. And beer, you're at the top right there. 2,000. And I saw as I was editing last time, I sold 20-some thousand charcoal to Durkachi and mistakenly thought that they would just keep taking it so long as it was sitting here. I needed to up that to 21,000 in order to actually sell it. So they only bought 10,000 of that. I had sent 5,000 more in, figured they could handle 6,000 more on their own, one at a time, and keep it going. But yeah, if it's not in the line item, they won't actually buy it. So that was a mistake. But I didn't want, while I was editing, to have to type all of that in and explain it. So I'll just do it verbally right now. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get 15 comments telling me about my mistake. <laughs> it happens. All right, so let's think about roading around this guy. I guess maybe that is our pattern right there. That's not quite as straight as I would like, but it would accomplish it. Hmm. I think it is. So, meaning this distance is about like this. So if we did this out as far as it lets us, be great if I can go all the way to there. Wow. No, uh, no red line or red words angry at me. So I guess it's to the center of the corner there. Yeah, um, though I have to go roads, another half a road further, so it's, I guess, there, and like that, into there, okay, <clears throat> and you're in here somewhere, so that means if I have this right and I don't, okay, so not quite. Let me go this way. Uh, new family settling into town. Right there. So you're going to run something like that. This one did kind of the same thing, so we're pretty close. To the center. Another half beyond. There, and then... Ah, I can't do that. Okay. I was thinking I would just extend it past. So actually, I needed to start there. But we'll attempt to put just a little square in there. Next time I'll do that differently. Where are you? Click, 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 click. There you... No, no, no. Let go. There to... There. Let's do this smarter. Let's do all the known points first. Okay. You're there. And then this one... needs to start over here this time. Like that. Hmm. Now I think I need to start there. That way I can see this line. So you're going to something like that. And I guess I need to connect those dots as close as I can. You're somewhere over there. Okay. And... Something like that, and I'll wait till this builds, but I think it's a diagonal out across, and then maybe straight to here. We'll see. That comes in. Fence over here, force the traffic down the road. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so you were doing all of that. Church is being built. Yeah, let's let the church get built first, and wow, there's a buzz of activity in there. Yeah, this is a proper Amish church raising. Even, they're even dressed right. Got the, uh, got the straw hats and everything. Yep, looks good. Boat going by. Cool. And they're out there. Yeah, they had to cross right through them, didn't they? Oh, well. <laughs> All right, still building. 
So the church had a whole bunch of, I guess you call it a deck around the outside and then roofs over that. That's right, a lot of scaffolding went in too. So this is going to take uh, a few rounds. A lot of them have already gone taking a break. So there's, there's a lot to this one. It's a very busy timeline there. Okay, second floor walls. Not many more buildings to build, so maybe we'll just kind of hover here for a while and watch this. So this is second floor. I didn't really... No, 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 that's right. It's very tall walls. Okay, so that's still first floor down there. Higher scaffolding, so roof's going in. So no sense of an altar or anything inside here. I would have thought that there would have been something built in here. Curious to see if I just missed that last time or, or what. Marifa, I'm going to skip you. Though you did buy our salt, didn't you? Uh, yeah, let's see if we can do both. If I do this, can I... S nope, it takes up the whole screen. You did buy our salt. Let's just do 2,000. Since it's already there in deal. Okay, you're done. So I'm curious to see before the roof goes in. Third floor walls. I didn't realize just how tall these walls were in here. Wow. Yeah, that is quite the structure. So yeah, no altar, no uh, uh, built-in counters or anything that I would have expected to see in an old church like this. Stonework. Yeah, it would have, would have been interesting to see all that as part of the initial construction. And you can't really peek in that well afterward to see what's what's hiding in there. Yeah. But pull out, boy, can I pull out just a little bit? I guess that's our next step. So you can kind of see what's going on and see what's out here. Roofing's going in, shingles. And we'll get our steeple going. There we are. Boom. Okay, steeple done. Now we've got the perimeter out here to work on. Which last time I couldn't figure out what they were doing. Looked like it was just additional scaffolding. But it is actually a like an outdoor porch that surrounds it. There's the roof framing. I think it's shingles like these, if I remember right. So it should be kind of a diagonal framing in here when it's all said and done. It just does the fir the front half. Just stonework out here, yeah. So, just about there. More, more boats traveling in the distance. <laughs> Watching the activity over here as well. Okay, roof framing going in. Baby's born. We're at 582 population. No more houses planned. And we're in. Okay, uh, child born in church. So no family immediately entering the town. But that would be, I assume, the next, next message we're going to get as far as a family. Uh, five trees to take down over here. Okay, well we're going to clean that up. And with that, then, well, I want to see these build. Let's move this in. And, well, I guess, yeah, that's got to be last. It's going to take them a while to take all those trees down. And that is that one. So that's the one we need to see build. Okay. Otherwise, what's up? White line firing through. And then go in there. Well, that's different. I'm not seeing a connecting line before. Hmm. That means an NPC had trouble getting to somewhere. To pick up a wagon or a cart. So it's a, a flag to let the developer know that there was an issue there. And go check that and see if that is really an issue or, or something that it resolved on its own. All right, so well over here for anyone, we've got 20 of and 20 of again. How are we in here? Tanning, we could do with some more. We have just the 100 right now. We have 200 sitting over here, though. They just have to go pick it up. 
Okay. So you are set. Died of an illness. Okay. And... Tannery. That one, I think, has just started. No hides. And I didn't see any in here. No. So we're ready for another four. Mutton, though, in the system is what? Where are you? I don't see any. Am I just missing it? No. Interesting. So maybe we can handle I guess that means it's already been taken to all of the different uh, sales points. So mutton, that would be right there. That's beef. Uh, let's go down here. Mutton is in this one. There's none. Did they not slaughter? They did. How did we... Okay, well, I'm confused. You guys are working by not moving, so you're not... You're not butchering any animals. It hasn't been that much time, has it? That we've, we've butchered them and eaten everything? Wow. Okay, well, let's do one, two, three, and four. We'll do that again. <clears throat> okay. Uh, pavement, pavement, pavement. So we are down to waiting for trees. So we have nothing for our builders to be doing anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and take you guys. Where are you? Here. Down. To two guys for a maintenance staff. And I guess I got to do that here too. Two and one. And... Town Hall. Uh, two and one. Okay. Well, there's that. So, what do we do with them instead? Maybe it is time to think about another wagon situation. Um, how big is that place? It won't fit in there, will it? Let's grab you. Okay. So that's not a thing over here. And this is quite far away from everything if we go any further up. So what other options are there? There is over here and an excuse... Takachi. An excuse to have people not walk through this area. I suppose that's possible. Um... Graveyard's over here. we got to get that built, too. Uh, let's see here. Rotate you this way? Yeah, you can hit the road that takes off to the church. Let's see. And then we have a natural fence here in this three rail to extend that way. Okay. So you're there. So is this what I really want to do? Becomes the road... Or, I can't do it over here where it would be the most advantageous. So I guess it's over here. And I can put a road into the blue, or teal. So, I think it's based on the season. Right now it looks quite blue. Other times it looks quite green. So, maybe the lighting changes depending on the month. There's no day and night, but there is a different quality of light in the winter when it's snowing. Um, I'm just looking at the little yellow entrance way over there. I think that works, because the road's going to be diagonal through here. Okay, remove eight trees. So, it'll be a while before we're ready. The guys will build this, and then while the trees are coming down, the four that are left will be bringing materials over. So, that'll be fine. So, you're there. And that means we need to get three more horses in. So let's go ahead and think about that. Horses, where are we? Five days left. You do do horses. So male horses, three. And can buy 15. Deal. They're going to be coming into here. Where stable is set up or employed. Do need to get some more horseshoes. So let's go ahead and get a dozen in here instead 
So right there. There you are. 12. And that should be enough of a difference to trigger somebody when she comes back to work to go and deal with that. Okay. So that's one job that we could give our builders. Otherwise, I'm thinking one more cart shed may be a possibility. But specifically where? We don't have that represented up in here. Don't have a great place to do it, but we do have a lot more new employees over here. So do we cart shed from way up in here? We have this space over here that we haven't come up with a use for. It's not what I had thought about, but... I have a little bit of a space over here. Let's grab a cart shed see what it looks like size-wise. You're down here. So, spin you like so. You don't work in here. Not without doing a lot of changing. I don't want you up in here. We do have kind of a hidden little area in here. It feels kind of odd, but... You could back into a place like that and function. So that's possible. If we went over here, it would have to be turned this way. And it it fits. And doesn't look odd. We do have all these other roofs here. With the kind of fencing that's in there, it almost looks like a stable. Which works with that. But the little barns and the windmills. Okay. I kind of like that. Let's spin you just a little bit more. Lining you with that one. That looks pretty good. Four to six weeks later. Wow. Now that was a crash. Took out my computer. Gave me a haircut. I don't know how that happened. But, yeah, what you saw a few seconds ago was like a month ago for me. I was recording this episode and all of a sudden my screens went blank computer shut off it felt like we just had a power outage but the ceiling lights are still on so tried to turn it back on again and nothing so uh it turns out that the graphics card shorted out yeah you know, it made me think that the power supply had burned out so i spent a week getting a new power supply in i decided to get the exact same one so the wires would match and i'd have parts to swap out and this and that and that didn't fix it so then I started looking deeper, and very long story short, my uh, Asus RTX 3080 shorted internally and, and died. And thankfully, it was with, still within its 36-month warranty, so I was able to contact Asus and get an RMA set up and mail it off. And two weeks later, and it took a long time, it, it arrived today. Plugged it in, turned it on, and... The computer just purrs. Oh, it runs good. But a lot has changed in the last month. <laughs> it really has. Manor Lords has come out. I had written in and asked for a key, and they said, yep, and I got a key. I didn't have a computer to record it on. I haven't even played it yet. I'm just going nuts over here. All that time, I've watched a lot of videos. It's a great game. And that is what I'll be working on next, that's for sure. But um, about halfway through all of that, I dug out my old GTX 770 graphics card, the one that I was using for my original gaming computer when I started this channel. And you know, I plugged it in and everything worked. And that was kind of my, uh, my test to, to verify it really was the new graphics card that went down. And I kind of forgot I had that old card. So, plugged it in, turned this game on, and wanted to finish this video because, you know, OBS records in MKV files, which can withstand a shutdown like this. It just stopped recording, but it maintained what it had on the hard drive. And turned the game on, and it would hardly move at all all it was lagging so bad I turned the graphics all the way down and I could barely move through the map it was nauseating you know the the, the flashing and flickering of trying you know, of probably two frames per second so it wasn't even playable but I thought I would just sit here and give this little speech and record it but 
I hit record and OBS said, uh uh. <laughs> I don't know what that graphics card is and those drivers don't even make sense anymore. Yeah, I was I was dead in the water. So I before I started this, in fact my all my audio settings were bad. I've recorded this once before and it overmodulated so bad it was it was hard to even listen to. But I had gone through and, and uh, set quite a few more of the uh, um, of the gravel pathways trying to make things look better. I think I've got some popped in around the church and what have you. Okay, there's a click in there somewhere. There you are. But you know, trees and bushes and what and whatnot, trying to trying to complete what we had talked about before of just kind of uh, getting everything beautified, getting all the decor in at the end. And as I was doing it, I was realizing that the game doesn't have the same feel now that it's been a month. You know, if you ever gone back to an old game state of, of a game that you played a year ago and wanted to get back into the excitement that that particular game was and turn on the you know turn it back onto that old save and then sat there and stared at it and realized it just wasn't the same because it's been so long i mean I, I, the town's familiar but the uh, it's not the details aren't there anymore so i think this is where i need to wrap this series up this 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 computer crash kind of uh, kind of lost my momentum on it besides there's a there's another project that i'm really wanting to get started on and and uh, so I think, I think what I'm going to do is pause this series. We'll call it Mothballed. I mean, Ostrov is a solid game. There's nothing here in its core that has to be reworked. So most likely any updates that are coming out are going to be more buildings, more uh, uh, supply chains, that kind of thing. De decorations and what have you so we should be able to pick this up in update 6 or update 7 and, and maybe a whole new set of architecture like uh, going from the original houses to this huge change right here I remember what update that was maybe 3 or 4 so who knows what 6 or 7 are going to include that might make a new kind of architecture for up here and around here and so there's potential to continue this town later but the timing just kind of ended on me with that crash so i'm going to wrap this series here and dive into the next project so thanks for watching folks and i'll catch you in a few days bye bye now